Tell me about the grind. No, we can't tell you that. The sauce. Tell me about the sauce. No, we, we can't tell you that. How you cook it. That's a secret. Now, I'm a massive fan of Rudy's Cheeseburger, and it's like an 80s classic burger for me, and so I'm gonna get as close as I can to some of their recipes in this video. First up, the sauce. So Rudy's sauce was sweet and tangy, and it worked perfectly with the burger, and it reminded me a little bit of the Big Mac sauce, and so essentially, that's mayonnaise and ketchup. You need some gherkins in there, and then we're gonna put a little bit of heat with some Tabasco, and then the secret ingredient is mushroom ketchup. So, let's do that. First up, grab a couple of gherkins, and finely dice. Make sure you get nice, small dice. Then, I want two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and I want one and a half tablespoons of ketchup. Then, between a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon of Tabasco. And then mushroom ketchup is basically mushroom powder and malt vinegar. And that's so it's got a real kick to it. Mix all that together, salt and pepper, and there you go. Now let's see how close that is. Put a little bit more mushroom ketchup in there. Okay, that's awesome. Now, let's get the garnishes ready. As you know, their burger is super simple. I'm doing exactly the same. So, we've got some baby gem lettuce. Perfect, we're just gonna pull those apart. We've got some heirloom tomatoes that are a little bit like the beef tomatoes. They'll have a little bit more flavor. We'll slice those. And then I've got classic burger cheese. You cannot use anything else. They're ready, let's crack on with the beef. Now, I think what was key to the Rudy Burger was the beef they're using and the grind they use, which again, they wouldn't share with me. Um, so what I've done is I've asked my butcher to use sort of 60% chuck, 40% the meat that sticks between the bones. It's got great fat content and it's ram packed with flavor. I've asked for it to be chopped and ground. So what happens there is you get a completely different burger and it eats very differently. It's then rolled into a very simple ball and we're gonna cook it exactly like Rudy's did. You need a couple of pieces of kit. This is gonna push it down because we're going for that classic style of pushing it down and crushing it into the grill. That way you're gonna get a really crispy crust. Let's get it on. Okay, so I've crushed that down to exactly the sort of thickness that I want, and then I've seasoned it with some salt, and so that's getting the salt into the raw part of the burger, so when I flip it, it will be cooked within. Um, and what you're getting is this beautiful crust that's developing on the outside, and then we're gonna cook it until it's brown enough, and then we're gonna flip it. So you cook it so it's nice and brown on one side, which is probably about 40% cooked. Then you flip it, and it's going to cook through all the way through to the other side now. But you put the cheese on now, so by the time it's cooked, it's melted. Look at that little beauty. Let's slice it up and see how we've got on. Oh mate, look at that. So nice and medium, not overcooked. You want to have a little bit of moistness. Cheese is melted. This really is a classic, classic cheeseburger. 
Right, let's try it. <laughs> it's not bad, lads. It's not bad. I don't know if it's as good as Rudy's. Theirs is pretty good, but you wouldn't sniff at this. That is simply delicious. Now, if you want more recipes like this, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so when a new recipe comes out, you know about it. If you like this video, then give us a like. Tell me what you think of the recipe and what you think of this, and make sure that you go and check out Rudy's video that I dropped out last week. Oh, I'm gonna polish this one off. See you next one, people. Yeah, the cheeseburger.